Hey, this is Raul, and today I'm going to take a close look at this mighty little guy, the Phil Jones Bass Big Head Pro. Let's take a close look at the Big Head Pro HA2. This is a mobile high-performance multifunction headphone amplifier audio interface. Sounds like an awful lot for a little guy like this, considering that it is 3 inches by 5.9 inches by 0 0.9 inches and weighs in at just 0.6 pounds. So just a little over half a pound. This small little guy has a built-in internal lithium ion rechargeable battery that takes about three hours to charge, but that charge should give you about eight hours of service. Comes with a soft bag, a stereo signal cable, and a micro USB cable, which allows that interface to your digital components, but it is also where you get your charging feature. This little guy can work both as a headphone booster as well as a preamp, and it can allow you to use active or passive instruments. As we look at the front side, we can make out kind of a very clever knob within a knob setup on both right and left. The left hand side, the inner knob controls the volume, the small knob, the outer knob controls the gain. On the right hand side, the inner knob or the small one controls the treble and the outer one controls bass. Smack dab in the middle is your headphone output. When we look on the other side, we can see an input in the middle that allows you for plug in your bass or whatever instrument you want to use you know if you're using a guitar or anything like that you've got a line out that allows you to feed off to your other amplifiers other things it's got an auxiliary input which allows you to plug in your mp3 players or cd players or whatever so that you can play along Again, makes this a perfect practice amplifier. On and off switch, pretty self-explanatory. And then that USB input that allows for the charging or the digital connection. The casing, I would say it's aluminum, but there's so much packed in here that at 0.6 pounds, not very heavy, but there's a lot going on inside of here. Okay, before we get a chance to listen to the sound samples, let me tell you a little bit about my sound chain. The first thing that's important out of my bass, I'm going to be playing my cot bass, which is an active bass. I will play it both active and passive. It's important to have in mind that it's a very hot bass, it's got 18 volts, so sometimes it tends to distort on a lot of amplification systems. So we'll have that into account. I thought it would be a good idea to try my U bass because I have the simplest of the U bass. I've got that lovely mahogany one, but it has absolutely no controls, no EQ, nothing that I can change. So I thought it would be great to use the Phil Jones Big Head to give me a little bit of ways to modify the sound. So I wanted to do sample with that. When it comes from these instruments, I'm using my trusty Astrope bass cables. These are made specially for this, so I know that I'm going to get the best possible signal coming from my instrument out to either my DNA amplification system when I'm doing the DI portion of it or straight into the big head when I'm doing those samples. Now in order for you to hear this I'm using a crafty clever little thing known as a splitter and what this does is it is taking the signal that you would be hearing from your headphones and I'm splitting it off so that I can record it onto my camera. Now, I do have a special addition to this, and I do want to take advantage of this moment and extend a special thank you to Mr. Phil Jones. He personally has built us an attenuator so that we can get the best possible sound samples, and I'm going to use it specially with the Big Head Pro, but in future occasions, you're going to know that we are trying to bring you the very best and true sound so you can get an idea how things will sound when you try them. So, very, very cool attenuator that will feed into this very camera that you're watching me on now to help make sure that we're giving you a clear signal. So, let's listen to some sound.
okay. I hope that everything that I've been able to bring to you gives you a clear idea of the many possibilities that the Phil Jones Bass Big Head Pro has to offer. I used it as a preamplifier. I used it as a practice tool for headphones. I've used it along with an external sound source so I could play along with something. Fed it into my computer so I could use it with a program like GarageBand. There's lots and lots of things that this Swiss Army Knife wonderful tool can do for you. Now, I also discovered that when you're using it, you want to dial in the sweet spot for your particular instrument. So my cot bass is a little on the hot side. And as with any amplifier, you can get some distortion if you're pushing it beyond the limits. So you want to kind of dial in, find the right sound for you, and then just enjoy away because there's lots of great things that you can do. So if you want to find out more about the Phil Jones Bass Big Head Pro, Check it out at www.pjbworld.com or simply Google Phil Jones Bass and you can find all the additional details that you want. So this has been Raul for Bass Musician Magazine. We've been looking at the Phil Jones Bass Big Head Pro.